Welcome to this lesson on completing the square. It's used to solve many problems in mathematics. First, let's review three algebraic identities that we use a lot. When we use the method of completing the square, most of the time we're dealing with x's. So I'm going to square out x plus n, where n is a number. So what's x plus n squared? It is the first term squared plus 2 times the first times the second plus the second term squared. What I want you to do now is look at that last term, n squared, and think. How do we get n squared from the 2n? You got it. Just divide the 2n by 2 and then square it. That's the method of completing the square. Let's summarize our result. To complete the square for an expression of the form x squared plus any number times x, all we have to do is take half of that blue number and square it. Keep in mind though, this method only works when the coefficient of x squared is 1. What if it's not 1? There won't be a problem because we could always factor out that coefficient. We'll see later how this is done. But first, let's look at some pretty simple examples where the x squared coefficient is 1. Our job is to fill in a number that makes each expression a complete square. Ready? The first one we see has a 6 in the middle. What's the method? Take half of the coefficient and square it. Take half of 6, we get 3. Square the 3, we get 9. That's right. The next one, we see a negative 10. The negative isn't going to matter because when you square a negative number, it's positive we can just ignore the negative sign. Ready? Half of the 10 is 5. Square it, we get 25. That's the answer to that one. The next one. The middle coefficient is 5. Take half of that, we get 5 halves. 5 over 2. Square that, 25 over 4. And that's it. Next, can we do this in our head? Take half of 4 over 7. What's that? Half of 4 over 7 is? See the 2 goes into the 4, we get 2 over 7. Let me write it out to the side so you can see. Half of 4 over 7, 2 goes into the 4, we get a 2. Square that, we get 4 over 49. And the last one. Divide the middle coefficient by 2. What's 3 over 2 divided by 2? 3 over 4, right? Just picture the 1 half in front of the 3 over 2. Here it is on the side. We get 3 over 4, square that, and the answer is 9 over 16. That's it. Easy, right? In the next parts, we'll use the method of completing squares to solve some quadratic equations. See you then. Bye.